Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are new, I am Sonia, Nam with the backpack. I thought today that we would have a little catch up, just you and me. I have now been back out on the road for three months. I can't even believe I'm saying that. The 7th of January, I headed to Hong Kong. I've never been before and I absolutely loved it. You can check out my videos about it just here. Some of the standout moments, the peak tram, the views were brilliant from there. Also, the Big Buddha. And we actually traveled there for different types of transport to get there. It was, that was actually probably my favorite day. It was really good. From Hong Kong, I traveled to Manila in the Philippines. Now, I have to say the Philippines has been on my travel bucket list. But as long as I can remember, it's always been right there at the top. The only island I got to visit this time was the island of Palawan. And it was gorgeous. I started off in Porta Princesa. After that, I traveled from Porta Princesa all the way up to Coron. For me personally, the standout place has to be Port Barton. I did a island hopping tour while I was there. Unfortunately, <laughs> I did get a little sunburned. So that was a painful few days. And from Port Barton, I caught the bus up to El Nido. I had a great time in El Nido, did lots of walking and met a lovely lady from America while I was there as well, which I'm still in contact. Hello, if you're watching. And from there, I then caught the ferry over to Caron, where I did another island topping tour in all the recommendation of the lady that I met in El Nido. And it was so good. And I had such a fun time. I booked a ferry to go back to Manila because from there I had a flight booked over to Borneo. The evening before my ferry trip, I went out and got myself a little kebab from a street food vendor. The next day at around two o'clock-ish, Tommy started gurgling the worst food poisoning I've had in a long time. The ferry that I had booked to take me back to Manila only goes once a week on a Sunday, so I couldn't cancel it. <laughs> so there I was feeling the absolute worst. The ferry trip itself, and I don't do boats, it was really, really comfortable. It was just me with my really, really dodgy tummy. <laughs> I got on the ferry and headed back to Manila. Now, the idea was to have a little look round. Well, in the end, I spent two days in the room recovering. From there, Borneo. Oh, wow. What a truly, stunningly beautiful place. It really is. I booked a room at Homey Seafront Hostel in Kota Kinabalu. I hope I have said that correctly, but the locals just refer to it simply as KK. And I actually spent a month there. While I was there, I completed my online teaching TEFL TESOL exam. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now, but just never had the time to do it. During my month, I decided to take a long weekend to go down to a place called Sepilok to go and see the orangutans and the sun bears. Oh, wow. The place that I stayed in, which was called the Sepilok Jumble Resort, it was wow it was set in a jungle had its own swimming pool which was very nice i made use of that 
And it was walking distance to the orangutan sanctuary and the sun bears as well. While I was there, I also walked up to the Rainforest Discovery Centre. I had a lot of fun there getting frightened by all sorts of bugs. And then I headed back by bus to Homey Seafront. I wanted to head over to the Indonesian side of Borneo. And there were several people that were doing the trip by boat. So I thought that I would do the same. Unfortunately, things fell apart a little bit for me. I will link to the video up here. When I got there, I booked a room that was an 8.0 on Agoda, was okay. On booking.com, it was lower. It said passable. But I thought it's probably somewhere in the middle between those two. Maybe it's just good. The photographs online to the reality were chalk and cheese. Unfortunately, I'd also become ill as well. So I had a stinking cold. So the idea to go diving was out of the question because I just couldn't breathe. To add insult to injury, because I'd changed countries a few times in the three months, my bank decided to stop everything on my bank account and basically just freeze it for me. So there I was in Indonesia. <laughs> I had no way of getting any money or booking any flights because my bank had stopped everything. It was a whole catalogue of disasters. So I decided to cut my losses and head back to Jakarta to get over my colds before heading back to Kuala Lumpur. I want to thank everybody for all the kind messages and all the support that I got during that time. I also want to say I got my first ever message that wasn't kind and it wasn't helpful, but I just want to say to that one person, I have very young grandchildren who are now able to read. I don't want my grandchildren to be reading any rude comments. And that then brings us to Kuala Lumpur. I can't believe that I have been to Kuala Lumpur so many times but never spent the time to go and really look around. So this time I decided that I was going to spend four days exploring some of the areas and wow, it was brilliant. I had the best four days ever. And if you haven't seen that vlog, Check it out. I will leave a link to it. If you do find yourself stopping in KL on a connecting flight, try to make it a long stopover and spend a few days there because honestly, it is really worth it. I have flown back to my gorgeous island of Langkawi, which is where you find me right now. I have decided to stay here for a while because. My next stop, I want to head back into Thailand. But at the moment, they are having a crazy heat wave of temperatures up to around 42, 43 degrees. Because of that, I have decided to stay here on Langkawi for a while. I know you've been used to me uploading two videos a week, one on a Wednesday, one on a Sunday. I've decided to cut that back just for now, just to one a week, while I'm here in Langkawi. So from now for the next few weeks, I will be uploading one a week on a Sunday. I hope you've enjoyed this little catch up and round up on my first three months back out on the road. There is a lot more content to come from here in Langkawi, which I am looking forward to sharing with you immensely. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming content and I will see you in the next video. Bye!